you probably clicked on this video based on the title. Maybe something inside of you is looking to change. Maybe you want to feel stronger, healthier, or more confident in your own skin. Over the past years, I've been sharing my wellness journey with all of you. I've made so many mistakes on the way and learned so many tips and tricks that helped me to get in my best shape mentally and physically. I want to share my fitness and nutrition guide that can help you make you feel your best self in only a few weeks by a few simple steps. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sandra Vloot. If you're back here, then I just wanna say thank you so much. I am so grateful for this amazing community here on YouTube and basically all platforms. Today's video, I wanna talk about how to glow up, get toned and really change our mindset and to really get in shape mentally and physically. I feel hot girl, summer, era is coming around and we obviously want to start feeling our best self i over the winter have also kind of i don't know i wasn't even though who was like letting go of myself but i really wasn't feeling really in a good place i felt bloated all the time i did not feel strong at all i was letting go of my workouts i was focusing a lot on work i was not doing any stress management whenever i start to feel in a rut and i immediately notice that in my body in my skin kind of literally everywhere what i do is i will get back into my routines and i will get back into my nutrition and exercise and i immediately notice a 360 shift I actually created a two week summer challenge with a full nutrition and workout program on Soulsing Body, which I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about later. In here, I actually laid out all the steps I'm doing and I kind of want you to dive deep a little bit in some of the tips and tricks that really helped me. So this was, for example, I think the photo was taken like a couple months ago where I felt so freaking bloated and there's nothing wrong with the way I look there. But what I said earlier, it was more the way I was feeling. And that's what we're going to work into today. So the three pillars that to me are the most important are exercise, nutrition and mindset. So let's start at nutrition first. I completely understand that the world of nutrition can be so confusing with the amount of different articles out there, different opinions, different researches. But whatever type of diet, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, keto, whatever you're following, there's one thing I think we can all agree on is that incorporating wholesome foods and ingredients are the most beneficial for your body. What I mean with this is using obviously fruits and vegetables for all your minerals and vitamins healthy proteins which can come from legumes beans but also from meat or from fish healthy fats like avocado flaxseed oil coconut oil olive oil you name it and obviously healthy carbohydrates that give your body's glucose and is the main source and essential for the energy levels in your body i would really encourage you to just start feeling out what works for your body what kind of foods are you incorporating that make your body feel good? It is really amazing that sometimes making big lifestyle changes take a long time before you start feeling it. But nutrition is one of those that kind of, you know if something works for your body, if you're feeling good or not. Something personally what's really worked for me and that's something I've been doing in the last year is really incorporating more protein and more healthy fats this has been so beneficial for me i started to see so much more muscle definition into my body not only that i also start to feel so much stronger in combination with the training i've been doing and then the healthy fats i've noticed a really big difference into my skin as well another tip which for some of you might be quite surprising is if you are struggling with having food cravings or just overeating i would highly recommend actually eating more and with this i mean eating more of the good stuff so eat more protein more vegetables and more healthy fats this way if your meals are more balanced out and actually satisfy your body in between those meals you will feel way less 
cravings and all your body does get all the nutrients what your body needs i created in the meal plan actually all the recipes from breakfast lunch and dinner completely laid out step by step in the video that you can also find on the app these recipes is my like holy nutrition guide whenever i'm feeling in a rut when i'm not feeling energized like these are the meals i'm coming back to that will leave me energized and satisfied so then number two let's get into exercise what i mean with exercise we all know how important exercise is for our body to build strength endurance flexibility of posture and overall i don't know happy endorphins i think that's a really important one working out and exercising regularly i really do not mean being in the gym every single day fully on sweating doing all cardio and hit workouts i mean with exercise movement every day whether that is going for a walk do low impact workouts and strength workouts personally love doing a little walk every single day even if it's 10 minutes maybe it's five minutes sometimes it's 30 minutes whatever my body and my schedule is actually allowing myself Since since this year, I've also really noticed the power of combining low impact Pilates with strength training. And I want to dive a little bit deeper into it, why this personally worked for me so well. I felt I was really under a lot of like stress and low impact workouts really helped me build strength, flexibility, good posture without putting too much stress onto my body. Then I combined this with two times a week strength training. And I think this is something very underestimated for a lot of women. I feel a lot of women think they get bulky with strength training and weight training, which is an absolute myth. It can actually make you very lean and build a lot of strength. When I started to lift some weights in combination with my Pilates, I just felt so much stronger. So in my daily life, whenever I was doing groceries and I had to lift bags or carry my suitcase, I was actually able to do it. And girls, I can tell you that feeling is the most empowering feeling that you have put the work in that you are actually becoming stronger and you're able to like lift things and move things around and that the commitment that you put to yourself in putting that work in is actually paying off and this empowerment is actually creating the confidence within I really want to touch base on that because I feel this is so important. So also in the workout program, I laid out exactly all the workouts that I do on a personally basis. So I do twice a week strength training. I always get this question what my workout split is. So I do twice a week strength training and then I do three times a week Pilates and then two rest days. And on those rest days, I do either a restorative flow I do some stretching or I just go for a walk, but you can find all of these also on the app and into my workout program. Then I want to touch base on how food affects our mood. And this is kind of where mood and mindset comes into play because if you are eating tons of high processed foods and high sugary foods like pastries, cereals, whatever you name it, which is actually a lot in any hidden processed and packaged foods, especially here in the US, it can actually cause more anxiety into your body. So your gut microbiome, everyone knows that that's kind of the center of our health, very connected to your hormones and a healthy gut microbiome can actually help produce more serotonin, which is your happy hormone. So whenever you're eating a lot of high processed foods, this can cause inflammation and mess with these hormones and actually cause that anxiety. I really feel when you're feeling happy, you are in a better mindset. You're actually able to feel more motivated and to actually stick to the healthy routines you wanna set during exercise and also during your nutrition. I think this is really important. There's so many ways on supporting your gut health by taking probiotics, by eating fermented foods, by eating wholesome foods and leaving out all those sugary foods and drinks that can cause so many glucose spikes, leaky gut and all of that. Then I wanna talk about managing your stress levels. This is so important for your mindset. It's something I am working on on a daily basis. There are a couple tools you can use on a daily basis for yourself. The first is breath work meditation yoga for me a really big one was actually leaving my phone off the first hour i wake up and the first hour before i go to bed so kind of get that scrolling time out the messages like whatever can cause any type of stress or 
anxiety and this type of stress management i feel is really underestimated because if your body is constantly in stress mode if your body is constantly in firefight modus it can cause us inflammation it is really hard for your muscles to recover to really build up that strength you can find pains in certain body parts sometimes your digestion is not good your body cannot absorb all the nutrients and minerals your body really needs so finding that balance between stress and having a healthy lifestyle is really really important for me i always notice when i'm stressed my indigestion is really, really all over the place i can eat a really big salad and feel so freaking bloated after so that's a really good example on how that kind of is connected then the last thing i want to talk about is self love it is so important to practice self love to embrace and appreciate your body and also your personality your beliefs your thoughts and the words you're saying are actually part of your future and because of this it is so important to have positive self-love number one tool that actually really helps for me is to journal in the morning and to put that out there and put that on paper so i will practice gratitude i will practice daily affirmations and by doing this i'm actually practicing self-love we often tend to have negative thoughts about ourselves but really get into our way of or mindset or self-esteem and especially our confidence but you really got to start believing in yourself before other people can believe it and before your body can believe it so your thoughts your beliefs again and the things you're saying it's actually grounded into your cells what i sometimes do whenever i'm writing out these things in the morning of gratitude or affirmations if i'm not 100 believing it myself i'm actually saying it out loud this way i'm just kind of like preparing my body to really practice self-love so i will literally be with my journal like in my little corner write it out and actually say it out loud i'll be i am worthy i am confident i am good enough i appreciate my body i look maybe like a crazy person in my apartment just actually saying it but by saying it this is where my body starts to believe in i just really wanted to say that out there here as well that you are worthy and you are beautiful and you can do whatever you want to do i really hope some of these tips have helped you these are the tips that tricks that i always come back to whenever i feel in a rut or whatever i want to feel my best self and when i feel energized again so if you don't really know where to get started or if you want to just really level up your health game i created a new summer challenge for everyone to join and i'm actually really excited to do this all together my fitness guide and my nutrition guide for two weeks all in one place you can sign up on soulsyncbody.com or you can download the soul sync body app there is a seven day free trial so you can even try it out for seven days if you don't like it you can always cancel it in here you can find my full nutrition guide so with daily breakfast lunch and dinner recipes each recipe has a video so it explains exactly how to make the dishes the guides will have a grocery list so this will make it so much easier for you to just not even think about it just go to the supermarket market get your groceries just have it all laid out for you and then with that i have my 14 day workout program so i will do three times a week low impact pilates workouts twice a week strength training with two restorative and um, stretches throughout the week focusing on combining healthy nutrition and fitness together and really help you to get the results you want by feeling more energized feeling more confident in your own body and really seeing those results i am so excited if you are joining i am going to link all the information down below and then hopefully i will see you there also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below i love you guys very much